The first cholera pandemic began in 1817 along the trade routes of southern Russia. Since then, there have been seven pandemics worldwide. There are two kinds of harmful cholera bacteria, O1 or LTOR and O139. Cholera can be spotted by its distinct symptoms. A person infected by cholera will have turgid skin, sunken eyes, wrinkled hands and feet, no urine, and rapid loss of body weight due to the frequent expulsions of bodily fluids. Cholera bacteria most often enters the body when a person drinks contaminated water. Depending on the acidity of the person's stomach, between 1 million and 100 million vibrio cholerae must be ingested to become ill. The contaminated water travels down the esophagus into the stomach. Once in the stomach, many of the bacteria die from the stomach acid, but some survive and travel into the small intestine where it attaches to the epithelial cells. The B subunits of the cholera toxin attach to the GM1 gangliocide receptors and enter the cell through endocytosis. The cholera toxin is then transported through the Golgi body and into the endoplasmic reticulum. The A subunit is now free to activate adenylate cyclase. When the adenylate cyclase is activated, adenosine triphosphate is turned to cyclic adenosine monophosphate. High levels of CAMP signal protein kinase A to keep the cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulator to stay open. So the ion pump secretes ions faster than it absorbs ions. This causes a buildup of fluids in the body, leading to a massive secretion of watery rice stool, which contains cholera bacteria, bicarbonates, and other ions. The lack of water in the body causes the blood volume to decrease. In order to get blood to the body's vital organs, heart rate increases, and the less important organs begin to shut down due to a lack of blood. Once the organs fail, death can follow. About 50% of infected people die from the disease if not treated.